Surely you are here for a reason, and that is to get rid of your curiosity about Sin City. Or maybe you're as excited as us to play this game. Imagine a good night. You're comfortably sitting on the couch with soda and snacks on the side as you play and earn from this game. Amazing, right? Luckily for you, Nugget Lover, we gathered all the necessary information you need to know before you start playing this game. Let's begin with what Sinverse is. Sinverse, or also known as Sin City Metaverse is a 3D action thriller multiplayer game based on the most popular cities around the world. This multiplayer game takes users to a digital wild west where you can purchase real estate. It's designed with multiple activities, including building clubs for your friends, competing in underworld activities, or even attracting followers. These activities help the player to achieve the main aim, which is to become the ultimate kingpin. Um. Well, Sin City is, is a, a 3D uh, metaverse game and it's a little bit similar with the GTA game. And me and, and Kosti also was a, were a really big fan of GTA, but we noticed that there were some uh, flaws, if I can put it like that. Um, we noticed, for instance, that on GTA you cannot buy uh, land or own a land, so the ownership wasn't really in the game and also what we noticed is that um, you cannot you know you spend a lot of time playing which is fun of course but you cannot really earn money with it so those two uh, aspects made us think about a concept in which you can uh, own a certain you know land or uh, in-game items and at the same time also uh, not only for playing uh, for fun but also earn uh, to play. Sinverse consists of a digital real estate that almost anyone can purchase and develop. The makers have joined hands with Vulcanverse to create the game. Using the finest virtual reality technology, including a lavishly spread VT casino and public facilities. Furthermore, the platform is built on Matic Network, an existing vanilla network partner, allowing for high-speed and low-cost transactions. Sinverse set amidst the world's most dreaded and controversial crime cities. It's a play-to-earn game that will have users bidding to become the ultimate kingpin while building their empires. Imagine a game consisting of 17 different regions and 15,000 different maps of real cities. Each region has its own gangs with unique rules as well as cartels that you can join to do whatever comes to your mind and where real estate buyers compete to own the most controversial cities in a disorderly world to develop and build their empire. This could be a dream for mafia game lovers. Sinverse has characters with realistic illustrations, voice, and text chat features. You can join any district to battle other gangs and win or lose NFTs depending on how the battle turns out. There are also different criminals to choose from, including choosing what type of criminal you want to be. Along with factions, you can join if you're new to the metaverse or not sure of your chances of winning an independent position. If you join a faction, you will slowly be groomed by other members who teach you about how play to earn works and help contribute your quota to the growth of your faction. You cannot assume a neutral position in Sin City, otherwise you will be easily dominated and vanquished. After joining a gang or cartel, you can do missions and earn Sin coins and various NFTs. You can also attack rival gangs, kidnap gang members, and earn money this way. There are even Yakuza and Sicilian Mafia in the game. You should be careful though, because if you are ejected or killed while playing in these cyber gangs, you will lose money. On the other hand, there are many ways to earn money while in the game, including buying and selling plots and opening a shop on your property. To sell items in the game, NFTs must be used. There are different items players can buy and sell, including weapons and housing. As a gang member, you can attack other gangs, take over their strongholds, and kidnap for ransom. There is also a virtual casino in the game where players can bet or even make money. When the game starts, people will know how and what opportunities there are to earn money. There are four different types of plots in the game and two of these types, district lands and private lands, which can be bought and sold through an auction market. All land was originally purchased at an auction 
and corresponds to land that has residents who have unconditional ownership rights. The other two plot types are public lands, known as district lands, where individuals can come together to form a group which owns the land based on mutual consent, or unowned or used lands known as public lands that allow people to build structures. Third is public lands. This is the land meant for public usage. Speaking of land, once you buy land within the metaverse, you can build your empire and start taking over ownership of other properties, enhancing your earnings and decreasing your level of competition. But there are a lot of other gangs looking to take away your territory, which can greatly affect your chances of becoming the leader. There are many distinct cities within Sinverse that users have access to, each with their own characteristics and resources that help build their statistics and earn Sin tokens. Traders can buy Sin tokens from any of the following exchanges, PancakeSwap, MXC, and Gate.io. Pancake offers game zone tokens where you can buy weapons, lands, cars, and other wares with game coins. You will also have the opportunity to earn money by gambling. We are the first rated uh, Air Metaverse uh, launch on the blockchain. Our 3D graphics are uh, very similar uh, with uh, GTA, the most well-known game in the industry, including the storyline. And uh, we have a very unique play to earn model where users win uh, sin token not just by holding land, participating in fights, uh, gathering materials, and uh, crafting items that they can sell on the marketplace. And also we have a uh, high API staking pools. We have uh, great bakers, very known uh, VCs. Also we plan the budget and we have uh, enough budget even if we enter in a bear market. Also we have uh, an in-house team of developers and uh, 3D artists, plus the collaboration that we already established with the Vulcan for Game Studio and Nons Blocks. So we are pretty confident on the future. So uh, private land and um, district land basically are the same. Difference between them is that uh, district land is more used by the factions to build their fortress on, on them. Also, uh, public land is non-player owned land, so it's the place where users can go and freely roam or uh, have meets or uh, stay together and so on. And roads uh, is the same, it's just public uh, for uh, transportation and uh, so on. Private and uh, district lands have uh, same uh, value with a slight advantage for district lands from in-game point of view, a strategical point of view. District lands can be sold and rent to other users on the marketplace. So uh, firstly, uh, Sin City is a multiplayer role-playing game, 3D with a very good storyline and uh, based on underworld activities. We introduce factions like guilds or gangs, uh, which is very popular in the gaming world. Also, the play to earn future is awesome because user basically can earn Sin token from any activity in the game, from fighting against uh, other players like in tournaments, where they can earn uh, in return sin token to gathering resources like uh, materials and craft items that they can sell it on the marketplace. Also, they can rent land, they can sell land, build their own factions and passive income from tax. So like in any game, uh, guilds uh, members pay a small tax to the owner of the guild. Same in uh, Sin City, members of the factions will pay a small tax to the owners of the faction. As for the future, besides all this, uh, Sin will have uh, multiple utilities. We already have uh, staking pools which are working and we plan to open more staking pools based on land, based on, based on NFT. So we'll, we'll Sin will have plenty of uh, utilities. Well, firstly, land is an NFT. It can be traded on any marketplace, but of course we'll have our marketplace as well, but not one, just but two marketplace places. Uh, one will be in-game marketplace. The other one will be for NFTs and the in-game marketplace will be for uh, consumables like uh, boosts uh, or uh, ammunition. So users can sell even those on the marketplace inside the game. And also we have NFT marketplace for land and for um, more important items like uh, cars or uh, guns. So definitely we'll have marketplace. We actually collaborate uh, through mini games in Sin City with the help of uh, APIs SDK. 
Some of our partners that already are partners with us and uh, already start to build in Sin City are Vulcan Forge, Dopers, uh, Sugar Bounce, and more will come. Actually, uh, Sin City is a multiplayer role play game, so uh, definitely we will have uh, plenty of role playing. Users can build their own characters, they can uh, design the characters as they want. Users can consider Sin City like a second life on the blockchain for them. The learning curve is very easy. It's similar with uh, any other uh, multiplayer uh, role-play game like World of Warcraft, for example. It's easy to understand also for any non-game. But of course, we will have a lot of guides for uh, all in-game items, for how to build a faction like in uh, any other game. We aim for a simple to understand metaverse game, but with a very entertaining gameplay. Menu is generated in many ways so with the help of our unique play to earn model. A uh, user can create and participate in uh, fights, in tournament fights, uh, in return for SIM token. user can gather resources and uh, craft items that can be sold on the marketplace. Also, users can kill an NPCs, non-player characters, in return for drops like uh, rare NFTs that can be sold, of course, as well on the marketplace. user can create factions and earn passive income uh, in SIM token. Users can rent their own land as well. Also, they can sell the land on the marketplace. Outside the game, we have different staking pools. As of now, we have uh, three staking pools with a uh, high APY reward. Now that we already learned about the game, let's head to what the virtual permits or license are for. First, licenses are different in their usage, as in the case of building a real-life casino or not needing them at all. For instance, if someone wants to start a casino, they'll need many licenses at once. General license is the for-profit business license that comes with each plot of land purchased in the metaverse. 
With a general license, you can purchase any business NFT on the marketplace indefinitely, such as restaurants, bars, and cafes. The Sin City Metaverse SDK tools allow you to customize your company even further after the building is built. You have a massive amount of freedom from designing and building a unique company in the expansive universe. Second, licenses can also be rented using a meta agreement or peer-to-peer -peer mechanism, which implies that these licenses cannot be used for additional uses throughout the duration of the settlement. The premium license provides access to the Sin City Metaverse Marketplace. The Sin City Metaverse Marketplace supports various types of niche businesses like liquor stores, strip clubs, and jewelry. The premium license opens new avenues of earning by buying tokens on the marketplace specializing in a certain type of business. These are current premium licensed businesses. Liquor Stores Those who own a liquor store will be able to purchase booze at Sin City Marketplace at significant discounts and then make money by reselling it to restaurants, cafes, and hotels. Booze can be used as an in-game boost for players who get injured during a battle. Strip Clubs Strip clubs have girls who can provide gamers with a strip show for increased strength, power, or a boost. Jewelry Owners Jewelry store owners can sell their expensive items to other players, but with the risk of increasing their status and power. Wearing appropriate jewelry provides temporary shields for players to defend against attacks in battle. Hospital Should they get injured during the game, Players will require surgery and treatment. If they don't have insurance to pay for this upfront, their healthcare provider may bill them for these. Luxury Car Dealer They provide luxury cars to players that they can resell in the marketplace, ensuring a fast means of travel by providing another player with a vehicle that they need. For example, think of robberies kidnappings, and other crimes where players must flee quickly. Private Security Agent You can use a private security firm to safeguard your business and hire bodyguards, who protect against crimes such as robbery or theft. Lastly, enterprise licenses are only for high-yield customers. Therefore, basic and individual customers will not be able to start a profitable business with their software. You have an opportunity to do business as a true kingpin when you get your hands on a Sin City Metaverse exclusive license. This type of business license allows for the purchase of these businesses. Coffee Shop In the game, coffee shop owners offer cannabis and hash to wounded players in a city on the battlefield as a reward or to repair. In order to have access to weed and hash, coffee shop owners must purchase the items from the marketplace. If they don't have enough cash, they can find other players that have grown their own crops at home. Sex Club A sex club can be purchased by players who have an exclusive license. Other players that use sex services will receive an immediate boost and increased power. Meth Lab Purchase your own meth lab, cook meth, and sell it to other players for extra power. Firearms Dealer You might have a variety of weapons and related gear, all of which you found at the Sin City Marketplace. These items can be used in multiple ways, including in the battlefield, in crimes, or in missions. Nightclub and Karaoke Bar Many gangsters like to congregate in clubs and karaoke bars. It's a good place to form alliances and make drug deals. Information and tools are available in these places for players. There's a fee associated with entry into karaoke bars by their owners. Betting Farm You can organize dogfights or cockfights and collect a commission from each player that wagers. There will be dedicated businesses you can only buy in each district, such as the Coca Farm or or the Salsa Live Club. You can browse through them on the Sin City Marketplace too. Since Sinverse completed its first NFT land sale last December 2021, which impressively generated over $3.5 million in trading volume, and placed the collection in the spotlight, the plan of releasing business licenses has always been a good idea. This allowed holders to open up shops and other enterprises when the game launches. As for the licenses, there are only limited ones available which are spread across four districts, Chinatown, Red Light District, the Cartel, and the Strip. Note that licenses became active and the first in-game items became available for purchase 
From mid-March forward, businesses can pay using the SIN token and acquire a license to operate within the game. Dollar SIN or Dollar PYR are the currencies in which these licenses can be purchased on the Vulcan Forge marketplace. That's it for this video, Nugget Lover. Remember to subscribe to our channel. And if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person. As a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video, but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you soon.